guys, it's Janine and welcome back to my channel and today I'm so excited for this video because I have not done a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial in quite some time so I really really hope you guys enjoy this video because this is a look that I created and I partnered up with Eco Tools to provide you guys this video because Eco Tools has refreshed their whole new makeup line and sponges at Ulta and they came out with a new line that has a new look, innovative brush cuts and they are always eco-friendly footprint. And if you want to check out any of these brushes, they are sold at Ulta. And from March 19th till April 8th, you can get all the brushes, buy one, and get one 50% off. So I would not pass that up. And you can check out the brushes down below to learn more about them in the link that I have provided. And I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to see. You guys all said to me a bronzy look, so this is what I came up with. So I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, give me a big thumbs up, and let's just get right into this video. So here are the brushes I'm going to be using for this tutorial from Eco Tools, starting off with the six piece starter collection, enhancing eye set, define and highlight duo, the full powder brush, and the perfecting blender duo sponges. First thing I'm doing is priming and I'm using the Benefit That Gal Brightening Face Primer. So this is just gonna make sure my foundation stays on all day. And for foundation, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm using my um, Blender Duo sponge from Eco Tools, obviously. And I really like these sponges because they're good at multitasking. The flat surface quickly covers large areas like cheeks and forehead while the round surface blends in the tip helps me conceal. And that's the finish I got from this sponge. I'm obsessed. I just feel like it made my skin look super flawless. But moving on to concealer, I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm taking the smaller Perfecting Blender Duo duo sponge and I'm gonna use this to obviously blend out all my concealer and you can use these sponges wet or dry if you want moving on to baking I love baking I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder and again my eco tool sponge and I'm going to use this sponge to help me bake and I'm gonna leave that on for about a good five ten minutes moving along to set my foundation I'm taking the full powder brush which gives me a nice smooth finish and I'm gonna take my air spun powder and just brush this all over my face and y'all it is so soft these brushes are extremely soft I could just sit there and rub it on my face all day cuz it's so soft next up is brows I'm using the benefit brow pencils and these brows ain't gonna cut it so boom brows are on just like that and I'm going to be taking the define and highlight duo brushes for the next steps using the fan brush to wipe off the excess powder and then to bronze I'm taking the bronzer brush with the benefit Hula light bronzer this bronzer is new and it's amazing but I'm using the bronzing brush to contour and really just warm up my face and I like how it gives me a really natural finish it doesn't look super um, harsh and it really helps blend out the powder really really well so I really like this extremely soft fluffy brush so contouring is done moving on to highlight I'm taking again that fan brush from that duo pack I'm going to apply this on the high points of my cheeks and my nose and now I'm taking the six-piece starter collection and I'm gonna be taking the blush brush or this is the powder brush but I'm using it for blush taking the benefit Dallas blush I love this setting my whole face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Yes, girl, my favorite spray ever. And then taking the Enhancing Eye Set and as well as the brushes from the Six Piece Starter Collection, which comes with this super cute cosmetic bag, which you can fit all your little brushes in there. And they're double-sided, so that's just such a little perk. You get two brushes in one. And then this blooper <laughs> happened. <laughs> I dropped my palette on my shirt, go Janine. But here's the eye look that I came up with. I really like it because of the pink and kind of orange shades. But I'm starting off with the Tarte Tartist Pro Palette and I'm taking the shade Bold with the Eco Tools Blending Brush and applying this in the crease. The next color I took was Innocent and I used the Eco Tools Shading Brush to apply this in my crease and really just kind of warm up the look. And then I took the Eco Tools concealer brush with the Super Shock Cheek by ColourPop in the shade Drop of a Hat to apply a nice pop of color and shimmer on my lid. This color is so beautiful. Next, I took the shade Whimsy with their smudge brush from Eco Tools and I applied this on the outer corner, inner corner crease and really just tried to darken up the look. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. But yeah, just trying to add a little bit more intensity to the look. And then I took the blending brush once more and kind of blended it out a little bit so there were no harsh lines. We don't want those harsh lines, y'all. Taking the smudge brush once more in the shade Smoked, I applied this on the outer corner and just kept darkening up the look. I directly applied this on the outer corner, but eventually I did kind of slightly blend it in in the crease as well. And then I went ahead and took the blending brush and took the shade Bold, applied that underneath, and then I took Whimsy and then Smoked with the smudge brush and blended that underneath, just trying to replicate what I have above underneath so it's really balanced. 
And then I took again the concealer brush, the other side of it that hadn't been used, and I took the shade Classic to apply this in my inner corner and on my brow bone to highlight. Then I took the angled liner brush and the shade Smoked and I applied this above my top lashes to make this act as an eyeliner and kind of smoke out the look a little bit and darken it up a little bit. And then moving on to eyelashes, I used my Tarte Eyelash Curler and then the L'Oreal Voluminous White Primer Mascara. This mascara is bomb because it's really going to darken up your lashes and make them really bold. And then I took my Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara and I just applied this initially before applying um, false lashes. And this mascara is amazing. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to tie a line with my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in black. And then I'm taking my Ardell Wispy Lashes and I'm going to apply this. These lashes just make the whole look complete. Like, man, lashes are everything. Just look at the difference it makes. And then I took my Tarte Double Ended like, Eyeliner Stick and I just applied this over the band of the eyelashes. Now my eyes are done. Hopefully you guys like them. Now we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of lip ideas. So the first option is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Jackard and I just thought it was really pretty and a nice fun pop of color. If you want to go a little bit more, ne more neutral, we have the Kylie Cosmetics one. This is in the shade Literally. It's her lip gloss. A little bit more neutral, so if you guys do want more of a pop of color, I have another option for you. But this one's really beautiful in my opinion. The next one is a matte lip by Kylie Cosmetics. So I took Dolce K Lip Liner from Kylie and applied that on the bottom and then exposed matte lipstick from Kylie on top. And I just think this is so pretty. I love this combo. Wear it on a daily basis. And if you really, really want a pop of color, I have the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Faded. So fun. I think this pink is absolutely beautiful. So which lip option was your favorite and which spring looks will you try? Let me know with the hashtag shop your obsession. So guys, that was my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it and recreate it. If you recreate it, of course, I want to see it. So tag me on Instagram or Twitter at Janina Mapola and I will retweet, like, comment, whatever. I will definitely interact with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video and thank you again, Eco Tools, for partnering with me on this video. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.